takes a minute to come on. There we go. Now we're on. Hi, guys. <laughs> I don't think anybody's here yet, so don't worry. Hi, guys. This is Julie, my friend Julie, that, of course, I talk about all the time. Do you ever catch any of my videos to know how much I talk about? We, she's like my partner in crime, right? My, um, my shopping partner and all the good stuff. So today Julie came over and we made concrete pumpkins. Now I know I told you guys I was going to go live when we did it, but I'll tell you what, it was such, uh, it was trial and error. It was a mess. We were messy and, um, our hands were always yucky and I didn't want to get that on my phone, but I'm going to tell you as much as I can um, about the process and what we did and what we learned and what not to do. Uh, if you guys want to give this a try, I'm going to flip the camera around and show you uh, our projects. So let me flip you. Okay. So here's one little stack. Okay. We used rapid set. what I say? Rapid set. Concrete concrete something okay she's gonna go get the bag so i can tell you exactly what we used i shopped at um i shopped at home depot it was 22 dollars for the bag okay and um we had a heck of a mess <laughs> so um we're julie's gonna go pull the bag out and tell us what it was but if you go to home depot it's rapid set something and it was in a gray and blue kind of bag it was a very heavy bag and um, it was so easy there was no gravel in it so we didn't have to worry about bubbles oh here she's bringing it. cement all that's what it was cement I knew it was another word um, okay oh it'll be backwards for them hang on let me see if I can you guys can screenshot this let me get it flipped for you there you go <laughs> oh no it's now it's backwards well for pete's sake i wonder when it started doing that oh hang on okay forget it oh i'm way too close there you go okay right <laughs> there you go vanna thank you vanna julie <laughs> that's what you need to get cement all rapid set and it's $22 a bag at our Home Depot. That's where I got it, and that's what I used, and I would use that again. I would highly recommend that. I've watched so many videos on people doing this and um, how they struggled with the gravel that was in it and all of the bubbling and all of that stuff. So I'm gonna show you what was good and what was bad. Um, the first thing we started with are these planter, whoops, these planters. So um, Julie made hers a little thicker um, than mine. Mine's very thin, so I don't think mine's going to last very long. We we blew up a balloon. A uh, I've got some pictures, you guys, so I'll post the pictures. But we blew up a balloon, and then we took the stuff like paste, and we spread it over the bottom of the balloon. We held the blow-up part of the balloon at the top, and we spread it like paste, okay? And here's mine. And then what I forgot to do, I remembered when it was already starting to set up, but so, you, so then you set your balloon on top of a cup or something to dry. So this is, what it, this is what it looked like. This was how far down the balloon I spread it, okay? And then you can see in here, right there, you're supposed to take, let's see, try to get my lighting better. How can I get my lighting better? Jeez, wouldn't think you'd get any better lighting than outside, but there you go. I tried, I fixed it. I patched it on the other side. I tried to take, you're supposed to take um, Q-tips and push through the concrete to make drain holes. But as I was doing it, you can see it started cracking. So I stopped and then I just patched it back over because we're just going to put succulents in it. And Julie said, you know, we really don't have to worry about drain holes anyway, because it's going to, um, we're not gonna have that much water in them anyway. So I'm so glad we made those. That was like a win-win. Um, I, I kind of wish we would have known to make a flat spot on it. Um, so I'm just telling you these things. Uh, so you take your concrete, we just put in um, like, what would you say? Maybe four cups, four or five cups of the concrete mix. And then just maybe like a quarter of a cup of water like we weren't measuring we just dumped so that's why I'm just kind of guessing when you start to stir it it gets lumpy like there's like little balls so you know you don't have enough when you keep stirring and you just keep getting these dry lumps so add just a little bit of water I'm talking like tablespoons like not very much and you'll get the hang of it real quick and once if you get it too thin and too soupy then it's then it's too it'll drip down over your balloon so you'll get it right what consistency do you think mm, <laughs> like, like cake I, 
Cake icing. Okay, like a cake frosting, Julie or, says. Oh, like a frosty. Yeah. Yes, you're right. A frosty, like a Wendy's frosty. Yeah, yeah that's good. I was yeah. thinking cake icing, but yeah, that is a little wetter than cake icing, actually. So that gives you the idea. Okay, so that's what we did with the balloon planters. And we're going to run over and um, we're going to plant them here in a little bit, and I'll show you how they turn out all planted. But doing it again, I wish I would have tried to make a flat um somehow maybe make a flat spot so it would sit because it's a little roly-poly. Um, that's one thing. And then I wish I would have remembered the Q-tips sooner. So that's another thing. So there you go. There's that. So then on to the pumpkin forms. We did not have much luck with those. I, first of all, the, the reason it took me so long to make, the, to do these, to do this video was we could not find any big pumpkin forms. Now that I'm seeing this, I'm glad we didn't even bother with it because it would have been such a waste. Um, let's see, did you do, did you use balloons for the ones with the spikes? No, I'm going to, now I'm getting to those. So this was the plastic bucket that's orange with the handles that you uh, carry, but it's a real little one. You can see it's real little. I forget what store I was at. Julie asked me where I found them. I don't remember, but I saw them somewhere and I nabbed three of them. So I made one flat. We just poured the stuff in. We used our little scooper, our little, my, my garden trowel, and we scooped it into the bucket. And then I left it flat and we did pat it down to try and not get the holes. Um, I think if you get the wrong concrete mix you get a lot of holes but for so then we we made enough she was making one at the same time as me and we only filled our uh, little buckets about half so we made another quick batch and poured it in and we think that was the problem is why the top chipped and the bottom did it we're not sure we're not sure um it did read to put pam uh spray pam in your bucket and i had pam there and i totally forgot but look how it came out I mean, I'm 90% good. The problem is the bad part was on the front where the face is, of course. Okay, so that's my better one, and I was going to just put a candle on it like that. Now, I need to paint the face in, and maybe we can still save them when we do the face. Um, I'm thinking I'm just going to try dark wax. Isn't that what Danelle did was a dark wax? I'm mm -hmm. thinking instead of black paint. Most people you see do the black paint. Okay, I'm going to talk about all the rest of them in a minute. So here's my other one. You can see his little smile there. It made it fine, but the rest of the face cracked all to heck. Um, the back did pretty good back here. See, it did really good back here, but we call these a fail and I will probably never try these again because I really like the other ones better anyway. We did add a live stem just to, it's a dried stem, but just to see how it would do and it's awful cute. Um, so there you go. That's on those three. Now our favorite ones are next. Let me show you Julie's, uh, Where's your pumpkin? Oh, here. Here's her pumpkin face and how it turned out. Now, we did sand them after they dried just to try and uh, help it a little bit. So there's her face. You can see it really well. We haven't painted them yet um, or waxed them or whatever we're going to do. Um, but she put the live stem in while it was wet as well. So that was her. She only made one of those. So those are done. Okay. So then we went and we bought our... our um, our spikes, our railroad spikes at Springfield at the last show we went to, um, we all bought spikes. And so we made these pumpkins with the spikes, these three. And what I used, and then Julie made three with the spikes as well. We both had three spikes. Okay, so here's her. Uh oh, I bumped. There we go. No. Okay, so we made these three with the spikes. So you can see what we did. Let me let me let me show you what we did here. So we used tights, like like hose, but not pantyhose. We used the tights. You can kind of see the the I still haven't washed my hands. The pattern from the tights just a little bit. These were just plain black tights. Okay, this is the same. So we found that if you let them dry in the tights too long, um, it was harder to peel the tights off of them. And you'll be able to tell when you start pushing on it and it feels soft, it's not ready. But if you push on it and it's hard, but even still wet, um, it's fine to pull it off. We found the sooner you pulled it off, the better, right? right if you stuck. yeah, if you left it on too long, it would stick. Okay, so I'm gonna show, show them those in a minute. So then, this one, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you what this went wrong. 
I'm going to show you. This is wrong, but look how great it looks. You wouldn't really know it was a fail, but compared to the other two, this one was our hardest one. So I wanted to see, let me show you. Let me show you mine. When you see the texture of these, look at the texture. I'll see, I have some bad spots in there because I wait. This was the first one I did. And, but see that texture? It was sweater tights. Okay, not real holy. They were still solid. You don't want to use, I don't know why I'm screaming. The, <laughs> the ones that you could see your skin through would not work because the concrete would just ooze through those holes. Okay, so this was, you couldn't see through it, but it was sweater material. And I love how they turned out with the sweater hose, okay? So if this, this particular one had a heel, like it had like the, it had the long leg and then the heel. So I had to cut off the heel and toe and tie a knot in the bottom. Let me show you the bottom of this. Oh gosh, they're heavy. Hang on. Okay. So there's where the knot was. See how I had I just stuck my knot up in the bottom of it. <clears throat> okay. And then we pulled up we we filled it with the concrete and we pulled up on the hose, the pantyhose, the the tights. And we shoved the, um, the railroad peg in there. And then we found the first one we did, we tied a knot. And the knot is what made kind of um, like an indentation. And so we didn't do the, the post in that one. Let's see. Here's what I want to show them. See how when you tie, this is the first one, I think. When you tied the knot, you had all of that fabric. See all of that? So she was trying to, what we did was we laid twine. Um, we laid twine out. We laid a piece like this and like this and like this and like this. We laid four and we made a spoke, if that makes sense. We just crisscrossed like you were slicing a pie with twine, okay? And then we set the pumpkin. So like this would be the middle of the spoke right here. So we took our sock, wet sock pumpkin and set it down right in the middle of that spoke. And then we pulled it up and pulled it up and tied it. We pulled it up and pulled it up and tied it. And we did that for every one of these little marks that you see. And we did that right away, okay? But I did not tie my stocking. I left my stocking hang up. Um, it it kind of hung up and I just tied all of my knots around here because I felt like I couldn't get a tight enough knot with that big wad of stocking and it was pushing my spike where I didn't want it to be. Okay, so hopefully that all makes sense. You guys ask me questions. I'll be happy to answer them. Um, I'll read back through the questions in a minute. So the other thing was I started pulling this off um, when I felt like it was dry, but it might not have been completely dry all the way through. And my stocking came off pretty good. There's still a little bit of fuzz there. Um, you can kind of see. So we were struggling to get this off. And I said, Julie, start getting yours off right away. Well, she made her mix wetter than mine, we think. And so she was not able to get her sweater off. So did you get it off the bottom? I started to take it off oh, the yeah. bottom and then I okay. was afraid to try to. So, so here we go. She tried to, her, her sweater hose are still in here. Um, she tried to get it off and it was not coming off. The bottom came off pretty good, but when you started to pull, we just, she couldn't get it off without it crumbling. I was it wouldn't come yeah, we were afraid. Well, and then she was struggling. She tied these strips really, really tight, and she was struggling to get those out as well. So she just cut the, the hose down, the tights down as tight as she could. So we'll just have to tie like, like a, some sort of a bow, like raffia or something like that. Mine was a fail. But it's a beautiful fail. If that's a fail, I'd be happy with it. Yeah, like super guess... happy. You can still see the texture but not as well as if you were able to get the sock off, but it's still compared to this one, you see the texture difference. And this one has the sock still on it. Okay, if that helps, hopefully I'm helping you guys out. So then, um, yeah, so then I made just a little tiny one. It's still drying, it's super warm. You guys will be surprised how warm they are. They're like hot, no kidding. So this one, I was trying to get a different shape and I struggled. I probably should have just made it, but I was trying to make them all different so I could stack them together. So um, I was, I literally held this one the whole time it was drying to try and keep it taller. So that's why it's not super indented. It was just, we were just practicing really. Um, and I stuck the stem in there pretty far down because I felt like this stem was pretty high up. Um, 
See the difference? So um, we did learn that. Um, and I kind of like them a little wonky, like they're not so perfect too. But so this little one then, I did leave, I tied a knot and I pushed the knot down in to make a hole. And then um, I took, while it, after I took the sock off and everything, that was just a tight, regular tights. I ran in the house and got one of these and I just tried to press it in to make that fit really well so that it, it wouldn't sit like crookedy like that. And so you can see, you can see it's still wet, but um, there you go. So that's what I've got. <laughs> so there's that. What else did I forget? Anything? Okay. So then we were messing around with the, with the real stems with our jack-o'-lanterns that we cut off that failed. And Julie had made this one. Oh, is that in there or no? I can take it out. I put it in okay. there when it was wet, so it fits perfect. Okay, so this one she made a little one with the tights that looked like a sweater. She wanted to try again since we messed up on the one, and so she could get a good pattern. So we made them extra small. Now, when you when you have a tube with no toe, the black tights that were plain, these ones had a toe in the bottom, and it was just looked like a tube, so it didn't have like the heel foot part so we didn't have to tie it off on the bottom but these with the sweater because it had a foot in the pantyhose in the tights it had like a heel and a toe I cut it and we tied a knot and we stuffed the knot up in the bottom then we plopped them down you know we kind of just boinked them boink 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 until this stuff kind of went down in and then when we started pulling up the ties that's where you get your pumpkin shape when you pull up that uh, we pulled just like we pulled this one and this one up at like these two up at the same time and then these two up and tied them so we had like four knots or how many knots would we have? yeah four different knots and then while this one was still fairly wet she tried to add a pumpkin stem so that she'll be able to go home and glue it what are you going to glue it with are you going to do e6000 or probably probably e6000 is what we're thinking so um there's that one and then it was that one turned out good you did this one first right right she did this one first as an af and she didn't add a stem. She just pushed the knot in there to make a candle. But then after she made this one, she liked that stem in there. So we found a stem. I had I have a bunch of old pumpkin stems. So she found that stem that fits in there pretty good. So she's going to try to glue that one in as well. So that is our um, three different ways of making the pumpkins. But I will... I will post the picture of the bag, and I'll post what pictures I took of the process so you guys can see. Um, but yeah, I think they turned out pretty good. We're happy with them. Mm -hmm. We keep thinking we might do another batch, uh, but we don't have any more railroad ties. Our friend Sherry was with us, and she bought three ties, so her pumpkins will be perfect <laughs> when we make hers. So anyway, okay, I'm going to flip you around. I'm going to say goodbye. There's Julie. You guys hear me talk about my friend Julie. Um, she's the one that got me into all this vintage loving stuff that I do. So um, anyway, we're going to go plant our bowls um, that we made out of the balloons. And I'll come back on and show you that um, when we're all done. Okay. Have a great day. Oh, I, I don't have my glasses on to read your questions. Um, let me see if we got any questions here. Okay. Uh, there's hi. Diane says hi. Hello. And Kathy says hello. Oh, uh, let's see here. Hi. Oh, and Terry says hi. And Michelle, hello, Michelle. And Vicki says hello. Hi, you guys. Thanks for saying hello. That's so sweet of you. Um, hi, Shayla. Hey, Shayla. This is my friend Julie. <laughs> you hear hi, me talk, Shayla. You hear me talk about her in all of our shopping trips. She's always jealous. She wants to go with us. Um, oh, my gosh. I love the railroad. Oh, good. She likes the railroad ties with stems. Terry likes the railroad ties. No uh, questions. Uh -uh. No questions. You guys got it. They must have seen enough people make these that they don't have any questions. Let's see. Um, spikes. spikes. Yes, they were spikes, uh, Terry said. And Arlene loves them. Thank you, Arlene. Patricia loves them. Have you made these, Patricia? I know you're a crafty, crafty gal. Um, mm. Do you use the ones with balloons for the spikes? No, those are the ones we use the tights, and then we use string to tie them. Not string, uh, uh, jute. Or we use twine. twine. Actually, we use twine. Uh, let's see. Any other questions? Good Saturday. Hey, Rosetta. Have a good Saturday to you. Um, any other questions? Uh.
okay i just made three with the buckets and used black wax for the faces uh, did you have sandy did you have any trouble like we did we the, they came, they were so close to perfect, but they crumbled at the top. And I've seen so many people have crumbly ones, so I'm not surprised they crumbled. Um, we thought they would be our favorites and they weren't. So yeah, I would love that. Um, I, I will go ahead and, and paint out our eyes just to see how they turn out. Sherry says, beautiful, thank you, Sherry. She loves it. That was Sherry too. <laughs> oh, that one's Sherry. Sherry twice. Oh no, different Sherry. Oh, it wasn't okay. Sherry Eddie, I don't think. Let me see, I didn't look at her last name. Sherry Radcliffe, yeah. Mm, they are all very good and she loves them. That was Ellen, thank you, Ellen. Uh, no questions, so we did good. Could you just burn off some oh, of the sock? sock. Oh, oh who said that? Sandy. Great idea. Great idea. Yeah, and that Great dark idea. would give it a look too. You love the fails. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Betty. <laughs> they were showable, right? They weren't horrible. Thank you, Shayla. Shayla said cute and unique. Uh, Terry loves the wonky one. I do too. I kind of like the wonky. Uh, hi there. I love these. Um, I'm making floating candles. Wow. Awesome. It's Robin. Oh, yeah. Robin's crafty. Super crafty. Um, let me see. Any other questions? I'd be happy with them too. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely not pumpkin pros, but I did feel like we could pour a driveway, don't you? <laughs> What's the big deal, yeah, guys? I sidewalk. <laughs> yeah, I think we could do it. We had it down. I mean, I think we're good. Uh, I use big branches for the stems. Yes, I just happen to have these pumpkin stems, so we use them. Uh, but I have seen the the big pumpkins in the in the plastic things with the stems for I sure. I saw hello from Texas. Really? Oh yeah, there it is. Oh. Patricia. Well, hello, Patricia. I'd be at Round Top right now if I was in Texas. Yes, me too. Hi, I'm a newbie. Well, hello, Barbara. I'm not sure this is the best video to choose to be the first, first time. Hang in there with us, girl, because we do better. <laughs> Thank you, Carol. She says they're beautiful. Great idea. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness, how do you say that name? Fania? That would be a great name for our, we just, uh, I haven't, did I introduce you guys? I did on Instagram. Fania, Esther, Fania. I can't see. Fania, Patricia Esther. Glenn. Nice. Oh, I love Esther. I love that, Fania. That's so pretty. That would have been a great name for our new family members. We, <laughs> we went to Aldi's and got um, Fiddle Leaf. Fiddle leaf trees. Trees. They were only $12. $12.99. Yes. So you had to kind of, it was worth killing. We had to get them. Yeah. Because we, we saw them in Amish country and they're like $60 or $90. Yeah. And we were afraid we were going to kill them because they're really hard to grow. Yeah. But for $12, we're going to try. It's worth a shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mine's, kinda... mine's Fiddle D. Fiddle, hers is named Fiddle D. Her daughter got one. She's the one that told us they were there. Um, What'd she name hers? Fifi. Fifi. Fifi and mine's Fiona. So I know you guys will meet Fiona over here. I just hadn't shown you Fiona yet, but I did on Instagram. If you follow me at the same name, Tammy Loves Vintage on Instagram, you you can see Fiona, I'm sure. Uh, oh, there's my Vonnie. Look how pretty her, oh. her texts are always so pretty. Yeah, Hi pretty. there. She loves our pumpkins and she uses capital letters so I can read them. <laughs> God love her. Is Isn't that sweet? Uh, hello. Enjoy this much. Thank you, Joan. Uh, girls, you need to get a bus trip together in the spring and go to Springfield on, you're not kidding. Kathy, we do need a bus. <laughs> I have a trailer. Oh, wow, my phone's not flipped. Let me show you. Mm. I have this trailer right there that would be awful handy. Did you tell them there was three of us that went and we had to take two SUVs because there, yeah. we didn't think there'd be enough room? Between our luggage and then we, of course, pack a little cooler for <laughs> little, you know, yeah, that is such a lie. <laughs> that is such a lie. But we do a pack a cooler, uh, and then we, <laughs> and then we had. So we had three suitcases, three girls in my four seater car. We didn't have much room, so these uh, these two drove because their cars were bigger. But yeah, I kept thinking I need to take that trailer. But if I took the trailer, that meant my husband's pickup truck which is never good <laughs> to drive. I ripped the mirror off once. I'm not really allowed to drive it very much. I, I did that backing it out of the garage. Uh, and then, 
yeah, we had to go through Columbus. I could do it except that part makes me nervous because there's a lot of road construction. Um, I, have, I have not made these, but I love how they turned out. I have to try to make some. Yes, Patricia, don't be afraid. Uh, mine were okay, but a beast to get out, out of the, the bucket. bucket. I agree. I agree. I really try it again, Stacy. If you have, or Sandy, I'm sorry, you were in the light there. Uh, if you have any mix left, um, try again with the stockings, with the tights. I think you'll like them better. Um, I think you'll like them better. Uh, much easier. I uh, love well, your you lives. A lot of people that Thank watch. you, Paula. Uh, California. Norma's from California. Hello. Oh. How nice. Uh, Debbie, hi Tammy, hello, hello Debbie, and Beth says beautiful, beautiful, thank you so much. Oh, oh. Fania, my name is Spanish and Russian, awesome, I love that. I love Esther. Yeah, yeah, so pretty, so pretty. Sherry Radcliffe, I love shopping at Aldi's. Yes, this, I just went, you know, I was shocked at how much it was like Trader Joe's. I keep whining that we don't have a Trader Joe's and I have to drive an hour to get to Trader Joe's. Well, come to find out, Trader Joe's is uh, Aldi's owns Trader Joe's. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, or uh, something like that is what my daughter said, and it's the same. I, I could not believe how much I felt like I was at Trader Joe's at Aldi's. Have you been? Aldi's? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get Aldi's. Yeah, I don't. That's know. the only place Lydia shops. Yep, I'm going now for it's, sure. It's a lot. Here, um, Bonnie. Less expensive. Saying, yes. Uh, LOL. So I can read them too. Yes, Bonnie. I love it. I appreciate that. I uh, love the pumpkins. Thank you, Teresa. Oh, oh fan, fan, fa fania. 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 Oh, that's so pretty. I would have named my tree that for sure. She's, F F I or she's Fiona now. I can't change her. I have to get another one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I meant so well. All can go with you. Oh, Kathy. Yes. Yes. I see. She said, get a bus and then we could all go together. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's an idea. Mm. Definitely. We'll try the tights next. Yes, Sandy. I recommend them highly. Um, just seen you were on, <laughs> on TV. So you had to watch. I thought she, Oh, I thought she said TV. She said on. So I've got to watch. That was Julie. I'm glad you watched Julie. There we go. We made it to the end. No questions. So I'm going to run over to Julie's now and we're going to plant. She had a a wedding her daughter got married what a month ago maybe mm -hmm. September 5th about a month and so she's got a bunch of succulents left so I'm going to run over there and plant these balloon ones and then we'll show you how they turn out and see how they sit I'm afraid they might be wobbly so I don't know we'll have to see about that mm -hmm. but anyway we're so happy let me flip them around for anybody that just joined but we're really happy with how they all turned out um, they're all a little bit different. That's our balloon planter. If you want to see how we did it, if you joined late, just rewatch um, the replay. This was our little um, pumpkin fail with the pumpkins that we cut off. They didn't do very well, but the tights did the best. And our favorite was the sweater tights. You can see the texture of the sweaters uh, as opposed to the plain tights, but I like them together. Like I would recommend doing both because you want little groupings. So, um, that's so I recommend that and yeah here's hers like to sit together and we use the real pumpkin stems just glue them in these pumpkin stems we put in while it was wet I kind of think I like them better glued don't you I kind of mm -hmm. like them better glued because you see all of this and it doesn't get lost down in um, and then the railroad spikes those were all with tights these were with tights this was with the pumpkin this was with the balloon so these are what we're going to go fill so anyway, sorry for anybody that's jumping on late. Um, you might have to catch the replay and I will post some still pictures probably later today. We're going to go up to a, a chili cook off kind of party with some friends and it's about, I don't know, 45 minute drive. So I may sit and post those pictures then. Um, but we want to get these planters planted before I take the rest of the pictures. So I'll show you like the exact concrete bag that we use, which I know I just held it up for you, but I'll do a screenshot and I'll post all this stuff, okay? So thanks for watching, you guys. Have a great day. Bye.